The most important car of the year is here. And no, it's not the Ionic 6 or the MG4 X Power or the new Kona. It's this, the Vauxhall Corsa. I know it seems mad, but this is actually Britain's best-selling small car. It's actually third best-selling overall. As of filming, the car has actually sold over 30,000 units. The Mini, which is the next closest small car, has sold around 8,000 units less. It's safe to say that the Corsa isn't going anywhere. With regular deals under 200 pounds a month at the time of filming, it's not exactly hard to see why. The old outgoing Corsa was a breath of fresh air, the first dip into Vauxhall's new design language, but this one embraces it fully. You get the visor design from the Astra, a beefed up bottom from the Mocha, a chiseled midriff. So join us as we go through the specifications and have a look at the new refresh. It's not just the outside that's been refreshed though. We also have a few new materials in here and some little hidden features too that they've added. While it's changed less in here than outside, it certainly feels far more modern than the outgoing model, which is good. Progress is of course what warrants a new design in general. While there is an EV model, we're gonna cover that separately and focus on the ice stuff today. There is a choice of one engine and one engine only, a familiar 1.2 litre. But there are several configurations in the entry to mid-range. A 75 PS option is available, or in all three specs, a 100 PS turbo. While in the mid to top, there is a 130 PS turbo option, which is what I've got here today. The car from the time of filming starts from a modest 19,625 pounds, and with a low insurance group to boot, it's probably gonna be a favorite still of many a first time driver. When it comes to filling the car up, even the combined low figures of the 130 PS most powerful auto is going to get you more than 51.4 miles to the gallon. Oddly, it's the 100 PS turbo manual that gives you the best fuel economy. But whichever course you go for, because we're splitting hairs here, it's going to be a frugal little scamp. Part of the reason for this great fuel efficiency is the three-cylinder double overhead cammed engine. The turbo only adds around 25 brake horsepower in the manual variants. You still get that boost in power, but the turbo is spinning a little bit slower, improving reliability. Also means it should be a little bit better on fuel. And that's good. 0 to 60 ranges from 13.2 seconds all the way down to 8.7, depending on the engine specification. And as we are in the 130 PS turbo automatic, let's see exactly how that handles right now. So here we are once again on our long stretch of road. So somewhere between eight and 13 seconds. So three, two, one, go. 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. I'm not gonna know what the uh, time is until I check the footage back later, but good job or bad job. What, one, of, one, of the, one of the two, I'm not sure which. <laughs> so with the 0 to 60 test all done and ready to go, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free, you can unsubscribe at any time. Let's start off with the design. And no, I don't mean the design of the car. What I mean by that is it's the first of the three specifications available. Like most Vauxhalls these days, you get three flavors to choose from. You get the design, the GS, and the Ultimate. The design has come a long way from uh, entry-level courses of old. You get things like LED headlights and high beam assist. You get an e-parking brake with the auto. Lane departure, speed time recognition, hill hold assist. You get auto, emergency braking, cruise control, rain sensing wipers, and six airbags in this little car. Petrol comes with a 10 inch color touchscreen display. That's all standard now and you get DAB radio too, Bluetooth, and as ever, you get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It's not wireless. That comes later on. You also get a 3.5 inch digital gauge cluster in front of you, as well as six speakers as standard too. Air conditioning, splitting seats, auto lights, auto wipers, these are all things that are standard on the new Corsa. You get 16 inch diamond cut wheels as well. All of this starts from the time of filming from 19,625 pounds. And the payments should be rather good too. The GS though is the middle of the pack. And the GS specifications are, of course, going to improve over the design. 
You now get LEDs all around, front and rear sensors, a rear camera too, which is rather sufficient quality for such a small car. You also get blind spot monitoring. CarPlay is now upgraded to the wireless variety, as is the Android Auto, so I'm told. You have fully electric climate control air conditioning. The fabric in the seats is changed to be more comfortable. You have a sportier front end, a black roof and black headliner has been added as well. And you get alloy lookalike pedals in the mix. And to finish it off, you get some rather nice 17 inch diamond cuts added for the shoes. And at the time of filming, it starts from 22,000 and five pounds. And this has to be the sweet spot, right? Depending on miles and finance options and the rest of it, it's gonna be anywhere between, I don't know, 30 to 60 pounds a month more, depending on what you choose. That gives you a plethora of upgrades that almost certainly will make it more when you wanna exchange it in the future. But we're not done yet, because then you've got what we're in today. The ultimate. The creme de la creme of the Corsa range. The ultimate at the time of filming comes with full Intellilux LED signature headlights. Enhanced auto emergency braking modes. You get adaptive cruise control, radar guided cruise control on the automatic. And a pano view rear camera that Vauxhall have used for a few years now. It paints the road behind you and is quite an intelligent little system, I must say. You get full sat nav coverage of Europe with 3D street view. Again, wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay is included too, if you didn't want to use that. A seven inch digital gauge cluster in front of me, a wireless charger and Vauxhall's connected services. The wireless charger also has grommets on it. So when you're going around some windy bends as we are now and braking, your phone isn't flying around the cabin and it's more likely to charge more often. You don't get that whole woo doo that shows it's charging and then not charging and charging and not charging again. It's just charging the whole time. You get a heated steering wheel too and something that I'm using right now, which I've been using for a little bit, is the uh, massage seats on the driver's side. It feels wonderful and relaxing too. Again, the seat material is changed to an Alcantara suede mix. You get black diamond cut 17 inch alloy wheels and all of this starts from the time of filming for 25,600 and 85 pounds for the ultimate, ultimate Corsa. I mentioned Vauxhall Connect on the ultimate. This gives you all sorts of interesting features. Things like emergency SOS, where your car is located so you don't lose it in a car park or a new city you've visited. You also get things like maintenance details where you can check what your maintenance is due and all the rest of it. But I guess it's time to talk about the drive. The signature of any Corsa is that it is actually a little fun car to drive, and this one is no exception. So we've got three different drive modes in this one. Let's pop it into sport and give the staple Fitzpain roads some rather nice, <laughs> fun and engaging drive. So very similar to the old Corsa, you get a three cylinder engine. And with the turbocharger, you get that nice little pump of torque Brakes are good too, because the car is light. And even on super rough roads, like we are right now, you can feel the car gripping, no snatch and grab. And the wheel feels quite nice underhand too. It's been such a long time since I actually drove the Corsa tractor. Can't, can't do much about it, but then we are in Somerset. It's been such a long time since I drove the Corsa that I forgot how much of a sort of peppy little car it is. I suspect the electric is even more so, but like I said, subscribe and we'll cover that one in the future. It's no wonder that the Corsa is the best-selling small car in the UK. And now that you've got all of these modern updates and features, it looks sexy, it drives well, the seat, especially with the massage seats, is extraordinarily comfortable. I don't see why it wouldn't go on selling and being the best small car that there is in the UK really is rather impressive. I would love to tell you more about the car, the acceleration, the way it feels great low down, but um, tractor's still in front of me and I think it's probably a good place to end here. So if you wanna have a drive of the brand new Corsa yourself, uh, don't forget to give us a ring on the number on screen. We've got one in Exeter currently, as well as our other branches. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.